This episode is brought to you by the Let's Code Physics Patreon supporters. So let's suppose you wanted to create a lot of spheres in the Python. One of your options is to use the sphere command, or better yet, the simple sphere command. Uh, but then you're having to you know, use that function over and over again. You're having to make sure you've got all the details correct. There's a simpler way if you just need to get some points out there on the screen, and that's using the points function. Here what I've done is created a list. So a list is a group of items. You place them inside these square brackets. And I've made all the items in this list vectors. So these are going to be the locations of our points or of our spheres. So I've got 000, 010, 110, 100. So if you're imagining these Cartesian, component, Cartesian coordinates in your head, uh, these are going to make a square of dots. So a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, a dot here. And the way I can make all of those appear on the screen nice and easily is to use the points function. So you use the points function. It needs a list of positions. So usually POS is the position of the object. Well, this is a set of objects. So this needs to be a list of locations. So we're going to put in list of points. I could just copy and paste this list directly into here and just manually list them. But, you know, it's a little bit cleaner to leave it as a variable there. When I press Control 2 to run, lo and behold, there's what I get. My 0, 0, 0, my 1, 0, 0, my 1, 1, 0, and my 0, 1, 0, all there in three-dimensional space with spheres, just like we've come to expect in vPython, and I haven't had to call the sphere command once. I just told it my list of locations and then use the points function. And then, of course, I can add stuff to this, right? So let's say I want to put something in the middle at vector 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0, right? All I have to do is add that one point on here, and the point gets added here to my set of points, to my set of spheres here, which is pretty cool because it saved me a lot of, of work of having to set up the sphere command. I can just use the points command. And now there are, there's a couple of uh, attributes you can adjust here. For example, I can adjust the color, just like with most, th most things on vPython. So I can make these blue if I wanted. And boom, they're all blue out there in three-dimensional space. I can also change their radius. So let's suppose I change their radius to 10. Control 2. Now the radius here is measured in pixel units. It's not measured in world units um, because uh, you, can, you can see these obviously are not exceeding the, 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 the distance between them there. Uh, so like if you set this equal to 50, they're now going to be 50 pixels wide instead of 10 pixels wide. Um, you can adjust that by changing size underscore units equal to world. Uh, and then this number will match up with these. So if I leave this as 50 right now, it's going to be a mess, right? They're all basically lumped together into one sphere. So I could make this into, say, a half. And now you can see they're basically overlapping with each other. So this is a cool way to make uh, molecules, uh, for example, if you're working in chemistry. Um, let's see. Uh, let's make those a little bit smaller, maybe a 0.45. Uh, a little bit smaller, maybe a 0.2. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, so you can use pixel units or world units. If you want to revert this back to pixels, you can just eliminate this, uh, or you can change it to pixels. And of course, they're incredibly tiny there with 0 0.2 pixels. Pretty sure you need an integer number of pixels. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so you got two options uh, there. And, I, and of course, you've got a couple of options of how you set up this list as well. So here is kind of the, the, the brute force way of doing it. Or you could set up a loop. Let's suppose I wanted to use a function. So let's suppose I wanted to define a function that brings in an x coordinate and a y coordinate. And let's suppose I wanted to do f equals e to the negative x squared plus y squared, right? Maybe I'm doing, uh, you know, an integral of this function. Maybe I'm learning about it in calculus two or something. Let's return our f. And now instead of having this list of points, what I can do is set up a loop. So I can say list of points equals empty list. I'm going to say for x in range, uh, let's try negative two to two. 
in units of, uh, let's go zero point, uh, let's not make it too many points, let's go zero point two five, and then for y in range, negative two to two, same thing, zero point two five, and then I can do list of points dot append. So I start out with an empty list. I'm just going to append to it uh, the position vector x, oh goodness, x comma y comma f of x comma y, right? So I'll have the spheres located at x and y and then given a height of x comma y. Although actually, I tell you what, since vPython uses I think about it, since vPython uses this as the vertical axis, uh, let's put y over here. So we're just gonna flip x and y for the sake of demonstration here. They're just names, so it doesn't really matter what you call them. And let's go back to world units so that I don't have to worry about these things overlapping. So these things are gonna be 0.25 apart, so I should probably give them a radius of like a 0.1 maybe. We can adjust that if we need to. Control two. And now what you look, now what you see is I've got a nice little surface here made up of these discrete points. And so this is a nice, easy way if you are looking to get a, um, if you're looking to get a, a, a surface plot like this, you can use these points here to create the surface plot with basically minimal coding. I mean, that took us, what, 14 lines to do with a couple of line breaks there? So anyway, that's a pretty neat way to use the points there. The points works a lot like the curve command, it's just not connecting them. So it's nice if you don't need the, those connecting lines between here, you can just use points uh, and get yourself a nice little surface there. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.